I cannot believe how quickly summer has come and gone here at the farm. And it's so hard sometimes to be able to enjoy everything when it's at its peak season because everything just seems to go so quickly. That's why I always try to make fresh flower arrangements all throughout the summer to enjoy indoors of everything that can be blooming. With fall fast approaching, I had to quick make one more beautiful flower arrangement from the farm. Things are really changing quickly, but there are still some beautiful blooms. And I think it's important to remember that you don't always have to have the most beautiful blooming flower, but sometimes the foliage on a plant can be just as beautiful and add so much texture to an arrangement. I hope this inspires you to make a great and simple floral arrangement from your yard. I choose different elements around the yard that have a lot of different texture and depth to them. Ornamental grasses with their airy plumes and large leaves from different foliage of unique plants can add a lot of texture and depth to flower arrangements. They also add such fun colors. I try to pick things that are kind of in the same family. With this one, I'm going with a lot of darker maroon tones, and it really seems to play well together. I also love using different vines, and this just adds an overall shape, and you can really spread out the arrangement by adding some wispy pieces just coming out. For some color and blooms, I'm using some hydrangeas that actually are quite past their prime. These annabelles turn this lime green when they're starting to dry on the plant and they're past their full peak. But I really like the color. It's really different than the normal white. So I love using them in arrangements. And then I'm also using just some traditional quick fire hydrangeas. They have such large blooms and add a really fun, airy quality. I love mixing and matching these different elements. To start, I always just try to get the overall shape and put in some of the foliage first into the vase I'm using. This just gives you kind of an overall feel for what you're going to be working with. You can get the overall spread and how big you want the arrangement to be. Next, I put in what's going to be the largest, which for this is these hydrangea blooms. They take up the most space, and so sticking them in gives you the final shape. And then I finish with just a few embellishments, like the airy grasses or the larger quick fire hydrangea blooms. You can always finish it and add to it whenever you want, but it's so great to use what's from your yard. It has a lot more rustic look than just going and buying the pre-bought and flowers that are packaged up, and you can really make it your own. I hope you're enjoying and are inspired to make some of your great own flower arrangements. Fall is fast approaching, but why not enjoy summer just a little bit longer? Thanks for watching this video. To see more videos that you might enjoy, click over here or click down here and subscribe to our channel to see all the great new videos we come out with each week. Can't wait to see you again.